So, um, so it kind of fits that 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 could be part of the the story. Mm-hmm. Um, so the question then, one question is, is protein restriction always beneficial in mice, and can we separate it from caloric restriction? <laughs> and so th- this is where you really have to look closely at the studies and determine, you know, did the mice on protein restriction eat less, eat the same amount, and eat more? And it's interesting because you can actually find examples of all of those. And honestly, I don't really understand why that's the case, except it's something about the different compositions of the diet. Um, uh, what does seem to be the case is that when you restrict for certain amino acids, you're, if you're deficient for a, a, a methionine, for example, or tryptophan, the mice absolutely will eat more and they don't gain weight and they do seem to live a little bit longer. So that could be a somewhat distinct mechanism there hmm. um, that we don't really understand. So, so tell me, what was the most compelling evidence you saw when you tried to tease apart the relationship between protein and total intake? Um, so again, I think the branched chain amino acid and, and methionine restriction studies are are pretty clear that those animals are consuming more calories, more calories than that. Certainly, if you match to weight than mm-hmm. the ad libitum mice, and they're living longer. 